display shows the Sims Climate Digest for May 2014, featuring highlights from the global analysis product issued each month by NOAA's National Climatic Data Center. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. May 2014 average land and ocean temperature was the warmest May since records began in 1880. The oceans accounted for most of the observed warmth, with global sea surface temperatures the highest ever recorded for the month of May. Land surface temperatures were the fourth highest on record for the month. In particular, Europe, Africa, and Australia all experienced temperatures above average. Some countries in Europe had their top 10 warmest May, and Southern Africa experienced much warmer than average temperatures. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, 37.3% of the contiguous United States was in a drought during the month of May. Dusty and dry conditions across the southern plains and the west helped to fuel several large wildfires. Meanwhile in Argentina, above average to much above average precipitation was observed across northern and central parts of the country. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from the average. Red portions of the map, such as Australia, Southern Africa, and parts of Russia, depict regions that experienced above average warmth. Blue portions of the map, such as the Great Lakes region in the United States, indicate below average temperatures. White indicates near average conditions. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, and red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, there is a 70% chance that El Nino conditions will develop during the 2014 Northern Hemisphere summer, and an 80% chance that it will develop during the fall or winter. This forecast focuses on the ocean surface temperatures between 5 degrees north and 5 degrees south latitude and 170 degrees west to 120 degrees west longitude. This real-time data set, collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites, shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The May sea ice extent for the Arctic was the third smallest May sea ice extent since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move to the Antarctic and discover that its sea ice extent was 11.5% above the 1981 to 2010 average, the largest May sea ice extent on record. And that's your May 2014 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.